here's a quick update to discuss the power. So I, everything's hooked up for power and I want to just talk about it real quick before I move on since power is something I see done differently pretty much in every cabinet. And in most cases, people just buy a whole bunch of power supplies and for every voltage they need uh, and throw it in the cabinet. And I, maybe for a full size cabinet, that's probably not a big problem. Um, but for mine, again, I'm trying to keep it as small and light as possible. So I'm doing things a little differently. Uh, for starters, I have a single plug, which I guess a lot of people do. Um, plug right in there, it's fused and there's a single plug. This plug goes into this junction box back here. And this junction box is kind of where a lot takes place. So this power supply for the computer is hardwired to that um, power source. So this is always on, or could be always on, always plugged in anyways. The other power sources, this 24 volts for the contactors, this 19 volt for the playfield display, and um, this power cord running up to the back glass are all controlled through a relay. So those are off right now. All those power sources are off because the computer is off. What I did is I put a solid state relay in that box along with all the other high voltage. And this is the power coming from the computer or this PC power supply. So over here there's ground, there's 12 volts and there's five volts. All three of those run over this connection over to this corner and that 12 volt line in the ground run into that box to the relay. So when the computer turns on, it triggers that 12 volt line, which triggers the relay, which then turns on all the accessory powers to the screens and the 24 volt. So um, I relocated this power button back here, push the power button, fan comes on, computer turns on, and when the computer turns on, it triggers the power. So then the screen turns on. So the screen is on, um, it's booting up the windows, and everything just works as expected. Computer's on, this little power supply over here is 6.3 volts for the launch button, and then the computer's booted, and then everything else is on. When the computer's on, perfectly working great, um, everything will boot up, and then when I'm done, I just have to come back here, push the power button again, which then shuts off the computer. And the computer shuts down, like normally. And then it kills the relay because the computer shut down. And then the monitor shut down, fan shuts down, 24 volts shuts down, everything else shuts down. So that's the way that I'm keeping the power um, easy on, easy off for everything. There's no switches. I don't have to worry about multiple things. There's no power strips in here to take up space. I trimmed all those power cords to the exact length they kind of need to be to get into that junction box so there's not a lot of extra cord. Um, and so that's how I'm doing power. It's just nice and tidy and neat. And I think it's, it's much easier and cleaner than just throwing in a whole bunch of power supplies. And it's one power, one button, on and off. Uh, no need to hit switches or make sure everything else is off. When I'm done, I just tap the power supply, computer goes off, power button, computer goes off, and everything else goes off with it. So now that that's done, um, it's back to, I think, back glass. I think uh, the cabinet's basically wrapped up. I, since these buttons now have power, I need to test them um, just to make sure they all work. And then I'm going to start on uh, building on that back glass.